Yes, Mr. Nkandu, it's nice to have you on the show, Man and Markets. You're most welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. As New Cafe, what does this investment mean? This investment into industrial solar means a lot to, to New Cafe. But I think not only New Cafe, but the entire you know, coffee industry, also the entire country. How? And, and the world. Right from the global level, the investment that we have made in the industrial solar speaks directly to two sustainable development goals. The first goal it speaks to is sustainable development goal number seven and then sustainable development goal number 13. But as it does that, it also speaks to five other you know, sustainable development goals, including sustainable development goal number one, which is to do with complete eradication of poverty. But directly, it means saving money and put more money into the pockets of the farmer because based on our experience farmers are going to save at least 60 percent of the expenses they have been making to pay for electricity from the national grid and the business will save the 40 percent that means a lot. There are many plants in Uganda that have existed. What really makes this one unique? This plant is so unique in a way that it is a rooftop industrial plant. And it is the one that you can clearly see that it is running an entire factory. You know, from A to the end of a value chain, like this of coffee. So it is industrial. It is very specialized. It is high quality. You know, this is what we are already seeing. But more importantly, it is contributing to avoiding carbon dioxide emissions into the atmosphere. The last six days that we have been, you know, testing and testing, we have already avoided over 1.2 metric tons of carbon dioxide emissions into the atmosphere. You know, what a great opportunity. The more this is doing is that it is making us more competitive. Okay, it is positioning Uganda's coffee in the global marketplace because the story behind this is that we are producing carbon, you know, neutral coffee. Coffee produced without any emissions. You know that many products out there are produced with lots of emissions into the atmosphere. Okay, now with our factory at Nama over here, we are processing this coffee without any emissions. When you look at the East African community, is there any other facility of such a kind? I think we have not seen any in Uganda that is processing and manufacturing, you know, a commodity, you know, ready for consumption. This one, this is what it is doing. Sir Joseph, how did New Cafe come up with such an idea? We conceived this idea after going through, uh, you know, some challenges. And then I have a friend of mine who was able to see a call, not necessarily on the solar, but to do with climate change. To the coffee farmers you represent, what does this really mean to them? This factory 
is owned and operated by the farmers themselves. Most of the other factories all over the country are owned by intermediaries. Therefore, our contribution to the development of this country is not simply a trickle-down kind of approach. More directly, you know, because we are operating what you call the farmer ownership model. And therefore, we have taken the lead and we are open to many other, you know, initiatives to come and take leave from what we have done. Since the establishment of this plant, have you registered any achievements yet? Already, we have seen, you know, saving 95% of the costs in the last, you know, six days. What could be your future plans? The plans that uh, we have as a new cafe is to scale out this. So we, we are going through, you know, uh, this experiential uh, uh, learning and, you know, appreciating what in industrial solar is doing. And then we want to take this to three other factories that we have outside of Kampala.